Welcome to another Iron Man episode, starting this one off by getting some free farming levels. I have teak trees that I've planted, 7.3 thousand experience each. Let's see how many levels we get, 43 all the way until 47. Very nice levels to start off the video. I currently have 117 quest points and I feel like I've always been quite behind on quest points overall or overall questing. So I'm going to actually dedicate the beginning of this video for some questing. I'm going to start off by doing all the free to play quests. Not really going to show much of it but I completed the Corsair's Curse and that allowed me to complete this medium casket and that is a very bad reward. All the free to play quests are pretty easy and actually this is the last one I will show you guys. All of the free to play quests are completed, Shield of Arav is the last one. And with the help of one of my really old accounts I could actually log into a free to play world to complete this with myself. And that is now all the free to play quests completed, 143 quest points, quite the bump from I think 117 that I started at. Now when it comes to member quests, the first ones I want to work on are some current quests, so Client of Current is the first one. After the last clip I went to bed, and oh my god guys, you guys have no idea what just happened. I woke up, and I looked at my phone, I rushed to my PC after what I saw. Look at this! <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful. We have a Tome of Fire. Even more pages as well from Winter Todd. I am not sure if Dark World Order or uh, Doug, which is our new teammate, got this. They were both doing Winter Todd at the same time. I think it was Dark World Order. Oh, we have the Tome of Fire. We also have Ranging Potions. Ah, uh, dude, it's time for Solra. I mean, I'm going to complete some of the current quests, but then it's straight into Solra. I am so happy about this. Client of current completed and also some experience lamps we can put on Herblore, 500 each, so I guess 1k free experience, not too bad. And this is the Ascent of our Chaos quest completed as well for 500 uh, runecrafting and 1.5k hunters, some coins as well, and a memoir page. I think what these pages allow you to do if you add them, oh 25 runecrafting, you can add them to this book and that allows you to teleport to this specific area if you charge the book. Uh, so that is a good way to get here instead of using the uh, Serix Talisman because this doesn't actually teleport to all of the different locations on current. This word is so hard for a Swedish person to pronounce. Depths of despair. Oh my god, so hard to say that, but it is completed. And 4000 coins, 1.5k agility experience, another favor certificate, so I can get some more Hosidius favor, as well as the page for the memoirs. But I have it in the bank now. I'm going to do Queen of Thieves now, which is going to be the last quest I'll do for this video, for now at least, because I really want to get into Solra. And here we go, this is the Queen of Thieves completed. Let's go through the dialogue. 2000 thieving experience, which is not that bad, and also... Of course, another page and a 10% Pisca Radius favor, which is actually a, an annoying reputation to get up or favor. So nice to have that as well done. Oh my god, look how beautiful I look. I can finally make use of the Aram Staff. And look at my magic damage bonus. It is 7% and my max hit with the Tome of Fire just baseline with the Fire Wave is 30. But 7% on top of that means I can actually max hit 32. So having both of these together is super nice of a bonus, so I should be blasting now. Oh my god, this is so good. What is that kill time? I was even kind of unlucky. 3 minutes 41, okay, so not that good, but it is a personal best. But I actually kind of screwed uh, that up and was kind of unlucky as well. So yeah, but yeah, I actually got the kill on the first try, so nice. Oh my god, this was so fast. This is insanely fast. Okay, the drop is not great, but uh, 2 minutes and 26. Yeah, that's the power of the Tome of Fire sometimes. I ramble that so hard. That's 10kc, also a decently fast kill, some coconuts, and a lot of law runes, which is not bad. Oh, that's such a good drop. Torstals. I, I, we can actually trade them in with Jekyll for Staminas. So I didn't record when I got this drop, but uh, grapes are actually one of the essential drops we need. I'm going to put these into the storage right away because this is actually equal to 50,000 cooking experience. And we're trying to get someone to 80 cooking right now so we can cook over 11,000 sharks. 
Which would be quite an upgrade for me to use sharks instead of potato with butter here. Wait, what did I just go past? Why is there a... There's, <laughs> there's someone who died with like 20 cabbages here or something. What would they even be doing? Milestone KC20 and we get even more grapes. Soon I'll hopefully have sharks. By the way, Nick just logged in and he had the imbued heart. I've been doing 20 plus killers now without the imbued heart, but now I can actually get this and it won't take up any of my inventory space because what I actually do before I go to Solra is I just drink a super defense potion dose. I would click this, so I just do like that, put it into the bank, drink one dose, take out the money that I need for the charter ship and I am off to Solra. Oh, there we go. That is the first Manta Ray drop, which actually means I have 35 of the uh, 22 healing food instead of using potato with butter. So that's going to help quite a lot. So much food left after that. Ooh, and even more grapes. Look how easy this is now. Like, I used pretty much half my inventory of food only, actually less than that. Oh, that's a collection log item that actually speeds up my travel here as well. Four teleports right to the boss. Very nice to get some of those, but I'm back to potato with butter. By the way, before when I said 11k sharks, apparently it was a typo. We have 1.5k, but still, still a decent amount. Oh my god, Nick actually just got a Senite shard. If uh, Dovidas gets from 75 all the way to 84 crafting, he can actually make a ring of suffering for me, which is going to be so nice. I can just put all the rings of recoil into it and I don't have to uh, keep destroying it and resetting my rings between each kill. It's going to be such a nice quality of life thing to bring here. Oh, holy magic fang. Uh, how useful is that? That's probably the worst one I could have got. Ah, that's only useful if you have Staff of the Dead or a Trident, but uh, wow, that's a low KC to get a unique. I'll put that in the bank for the future. Can't complain. Dovidas was actually opening some Laren's keys and look at what he got. He got a Dagon High Robe Bottom and let's compare that to Mystic. He said I could use it for Solra and uh, the Mystic has 15-15 and this has 18-14. Also Prey Bonus, so it has better offensive bonuses, which is all that really matters. The defensive doesn't really matter that much. Plus 3 on magic and plus 2 on prayer. Basically everyone in the team already has 70 prayers so they are just giving me the bones now and I'm going to use them gradually as I get them because just having higher prayer level gives my prey potions to give me more prayer so might as well just do it for uh, preserving more pots on Solra. Starting at level 52, let's see what the first batch of bones I was given is going to get us to. 76,000 prayer experience and we ended at 57, so that should be like one more prayer point per uh, prayer potion sip. So I'm up to 44 KC right now and uh, I don't really have any ranging pots, no prayer pots, barely any super anti-poisons. I could just buy normal anti-poisons from Karamja, but that still doesn't really help. I don't have any prayer potions. So we're going for the last kill, which is going to be 45 for this video until we get more prayer pots supplied. Wow. Oh my god. Is that actually... <sighs> wow, what did I get? I got Manta Ray drop. That is so unfortunate. I actually got super unlucky during that entire uh, kill attempt. By the way, if you're wondering, I actually only have to tell it out once, I think, in all these 40 kills I've done in this video. And I've died twice. So overall, like three failed attempts in 40 kills. So the Tome of Fire is actually doing really well. Now, if you're wondering how many burnt pages in the Tome of Fire did I use during all those 40 kills, Let's have a look. It started with 20,000 charges and I still have 18,346 charges and I still have 700 burnt pages as well. So I am not going to run out of charges in this tome for a very long time. That is a benefit to getting 99 fire making at least without getting a tome. For some reason one of the kills did not get counted in, but this is all the loot that I got from doing solo in this video. Of course the magic fang was a very nice drop, but unfortunately most likely the most useless item at this current moment to get. But it is of course a 1 in a 128 chance of getting any of the uniques, so it is nice to get one this early. Hopefully the next one is going to be the Serpentine Visage or the Tanzanite Fang, both of which are super useful for future farming of Solra. But this is going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, 
Subscribe if you want to see future uploads and click the notification bell if you want to get notified when. But until next time, have a good one. Take care.